What is up guys, your boy Revan here today with another deck and today I'm gonna show you a post-rotation version of the Hitmon uh, Chan, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Top deck, uh, your favorite deck, right? Hit and Run deck. But before we're gonna go card by card, I just wanna tell you guys that uh, thank you so much for all the subs. Thank you so much for all the support and uh, you know if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more decks more pokemon tcg news and more uh pokemon related things all right so let's go just card by card of course this is a deck that revolves around hit and run and then you know one attack goes into another into a another so we got hitman chance attack then we have hitman lisa hitman tops so you have to like do it in the correct order and you know so you can attack actually with this deck. So first things first, we have one Diancei. It's not rotating out. Prism, Prism cards are not rotating out, right? They were first introduced in Ultra Prism, so the set that stays. And here, Princess Cheers, 20 more damage uh, by our fighting type uh, cards, fighting type Pokemons, and that's actually you know, the whole deck, right? Fighting type uh, Pokemons. Then we have Hitmon Chan, and we have four copies of it. Why we have four copies? Because that is the first card in the chain of attacks for hit and run, right? That's the attack we have to start with. Hit and run, you may switch uh, this Pokemon excuse me, with uh, one of your bench Pokemon, and we will want to switch for Hitmonlee after attack. Why for Hitmonlee? Because Hitmonlee has a special combo attack that says you can use this attack only if Hitmon Chan used hit and run uh, during the last turn, so it does 90 damage uh, to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So it's kind of a bench snipe. We have three copies of it and two copies on Hitmon Top that says you can only use this attack if Hitmonlee used a special combo. And Hitmonlee can use special combo if you used a hit and run uh, earlier. So you can see See, you know the pattern here and this is the attack that's 60 damage all over the board uh, over your opponent's uh, side of the board so that is you know 10 pokemons then let's go to trainer cards we have two acrobikes to browse you know through the deck to get to the cards we need a little bit faster then we have four custom catchers of course post rotation great card uh two switch our opponent's uh, Pokemon and you know to actually bench snipe some uh, some of the others right <coughs> then we have two energy spinners just to get the energy for judge whistles I actually do like judge whistle I like this additional draw that it gives us of course you know uh, in this place you can play something else I just do really do like judge whistle in general not only because I have a secret rare but it's a really good card for me then four poke gears three Pokemon communications three switches because we're gonna need those switches for the Monday. Two martial arts dojos that are not banned anymore in Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. And uh, as you can see, if uh, the Pokemon is a fighting type and is not an Ultra Beast, uh, it does you know uh, 10 more damage. But if you have more prize cards, it does 40 more damage. So definitely another another uh, buff, another attack buff for our Pokemon. So we have one reason for us to search for uh, the energy and we go to supporter cards: four Cynthia's, one Eric Hospitality, three Green's Exploration. Of course, uh, don't forget that you have to use it before you're gonna get Diancy. That's you know <laughs> really really crucial uh, then we have Koga Strap, of course a really nice uh, nice way to put additional damage on our opponent's uh, Pokemon's like active Pokemon a little two lilies two Pokemon fan clubs to search for the basic because let's be honest post rotation searching for non GX cards uh, especially basics is gonna uh, revolve either Elm's Lecture which we can't really use here because everything is above 60 HP and Pokemon fan club, which we have here, so two Pokemon fan clubs. Of course, this is an uh, X and Y version uh, that I have, but uh, the uh, the current you know Sun and Moon era uh, Pokemon fan club stays in the format as well, so don't worry about that. And one Titan Lizard for additional switch if you need it, and of course shuffling the deck plus ten energy. That's the whole deck. That's the whole idea, and you've got it in the description down there below. You can check it out yourself, copy and paste it, and we're just gonna go and play. So you wanna go first or wanna go second? Actually, it depends on you. I like to go second with this deck just because it, you know, I can attack and I just have to find the deck. There it is. We found it. So let's go. Let's play a few games. So, yeah, I really like to go second, especially right now. When I see electric type deck, it might not have maybe Picaram because uh, I don't know, but. Uh, well, I have to be careful of Zapdos, right? Like Zapdos here uh, might be a problem. I don't want to go first. I want to go second because hit and run can attack. And already seen a baby deck, so even if he's gonna knock out one of our Pokemon, we still have, you know, we still have more. So I'm not that scared of it, right? I'm not that scared. 
So let's go. Let's hope he's not using Zapdos, he's only using Mika Roms and we're gonna be mwah, perfect. And look at that, we got Hitmonchan already with Hitmonlee on a bench and that's it, like that's all I'm gonna do right now. Just because, you know, he can play still, Guzmas can still play other cards, because we are still facing, you know, cards that are from the current format. And that is a Zerka tree, so he prevents damage from uh, all the Pokemon that have special energies. And of course, we do not have the special energy, so that's fun with me. Electric type in general has a weakness towards fighting type. The only, uh, uh, the only card that doesn't have weakness towards a uh, fighting type is Zapdos, right? So you have to be careful there. Zapdos has weakness to other electric, excuse me, electric types. All right, so Hitmonchan will deal at least, you know, bare minimum. It's gonna be 60 damage. Of course, I'm gonna go for Diancy with Pokemon Communication, so it's gonna deal 100 damage. Why 100? Well, due to, of course, due to weakness. And Zara Aura, of course, again, a uh, card that has weakness. We can't forget about that. All right, Hitmonchan. So this turn Hitmonchan, next turn Hitmon Lee hitting, hitting hard. And if I'm gonna find another custom catcher, and he's not gonna retreat, if he's not gonna retreat the Zerka Tree, I'm gonna you know change Zerka Tree with uh, the benched Pokemon, and I'll be able to get rid of a Zerka Tree on the bench, right? So bench sniping, really, really, really great idea here. Of course, if you wanna prevent bench sniping, because it's gonna be crucial, maybe not even uh, in Unified Minds, but after Unified Minds in November set. Mew with 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 uh, bench protection right. I don't. I forgot the exact name. Bench barrier. That's the name uh, of the ability. Is a necessity. Let's be. Honest. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh. I went a little bit too cocky, and we do not actually have. Uh, we do not have have have, have Diane Um. Hmm. That changes a lot. Let me tell you. Um. Okay. Let's go with Hitman Top. All right, let's have the whole combo uh, on our side and let's see. Of course, if we play the energy, the Verdant Forest, and this time I'm gonna play Custom Catcher to draw those two additional cards. There we go. I have not played any supporter. There goes Cynthia. So Custom Catcher not only you know uh, switching our opponent's side of uh, you know the active one, but also giving us here, uh, giving us. Nice, Cynthia, 60 damage, and of course we're switching uh, with Hitmonlee. For additional switch, I have Titan Liza, and if everything's gonna go right, we'll be able to use Hitmon Top next turn. Maybe not, okay, in two turns, right? Because that is the whole combo. You have to do it once at a time. Uh, let's look at... Uh, your opponents can't play any item cards from their hand during their next turn. It's okay, I don't have to play any item cards. Ooh! That is 60 damage coming... No, okay, that was uh, probably a discard. Right, yeah, that was probably a discard. Yes, it was. Or maybe, no, he went for Electro Power plus the discard. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna you know, go and bench snipe him over here. There we go. I can't play any items, but what I can play is Green's Exploration. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Hmm... Let me check, because I'm attacking for 80. You know what? No, I'm going to do it differently. So, Green's Exploration for two Custom Catchers, and I'm going to knock out, actually, Luxio. No, because I can't play any... Oh, no, that was my... Yeah, that was my mistake. Um, but okay. Mistakes happen, and it's okay. Next turn, with a Hitman top, we're going to knock out uh, Zerka Tree, and if Luxio stays as an active, we're going to knock him out as well. So, yeah, that was... You see, like, I've... Played last time against Luxio maybe a few months ago, and I kind of forgot about him. Um, really forgettable card, right? So even though I read it in seconds ago, but it's okay. Honestly, it's okay. Uh, we are prepared. We are really prepared for the next turn. Of course, uh, he is uh, he's switching here, which doesn't matter uh, that much uh, if you ask me, because I'm gonna you know I'm going to deal 60 uh, damage. Ooh. Okay. That is quite interesting and intriguing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Titan Liza. I'm gonna switch, right? And I'm gonna get that custom catcher. Uh on your opponent's active attacks. The 30 less damage. You know what? Hmm. 
No, I'm, I'm fine the way I am right now. Finishing combo. That's 60 everywhere. That's 120 on Zera Aura. And I will be able to knock out Zera Aura uh, when I'm gonna need it. So, two prize cards. Maybe Diane side? And there is Diane side. Okay, so Zera Aura next turn goes down. Why Zera Aura is gonna go down? Well, we're gonna use custom catchers to get Zera Aura front. Play Diane side. That is a hundred damage right there from uh, Hitman Chan. Because, of course, I have to use Hitman Chan here. The fact that, you know, he got rid of uh, our stadium and he has Thunder Mountain, well, it's it's fine with me. Oh, okay. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is, uh, first I'm going to play Green's Exploration, and I'm going to grab myself two switches. Just before I'm going to play that Diancy, right? Or you know what? Switch and Dojo. So he will not have, he will not have the Thunder Mountain, and we're going to have a nice knockout on the Zara Aura. Okay, there goes Diance, switch, so we are not losing, uh, we are not losing energy on those Pokemons. I can play Energy Spinner, well, no, I don't need Energy Spinner right now, so hit and run, that's a knockout. And... Well, that is a good question, so you know what, I'm not gonna do anything, I think. Yep, there's no need of doing anything right now. Because he's not going to have anything on the bench. He has empty hand and... Honestly... Hitmoli would not do anything because he hits benched Pokemon and I don't think he has anything on the bench. Okay. Fair enough. He got rid of all of his energy just to get one prize card. So now it's our time to take advantage of it and... I'm just gonna do a hit and run, which is 60, and I know it's close, I know it's close, but not yet, right, we, are, we missed this additional, additional 30 damage, actually, but that's the ability of Luxray, uh, as long as Pokemon is uh, your active, your opponent's active uh, Pokemon's attack, do 30 less damage, so we dealt a lot less, but, well, that's it, that's a game from him, so we just beat we just beat Luke's Razor Aura deck, and I'm, I'm happy about it. Honestly, I'm happy about it. There we go. I don't think that was a challenge at all, to, 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 to be honest. Um, especially when you're fighting against the weakness, right? This is not, you know, not, not, not that hard to beat stuff with this deck. So, that was the game number one. Let's go to game number two. Let's see how the game number two is going to go. And, of course, guys, don't forget uh, that... Saturday tomorrow, I'm going to pre so tomorrow during my night time, so it's going to be, uh, like, I'm going to upload uh, pack openings uh, from that event, right? Kovacs pack opening, and also mine, like, we're gonna probably sit next to each other during the event and just, like, you know, record it for you guys, so... Um, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have this experience, but also you will see openings of two Unified Minds pre-release kits. So, you, you know, you will see what is inside as well. You will see, you know, uh, what you can expect from uh, those pre-constructed pre -constructed kits. Of course, you know, starting with Hitman Top is quite bad. Not gonna lie, it's quite, quite, quite bad, and yeah. It's not good, but we got Pokemon Fan Club, so I can go for the cards I need. Definitely switch would be nice. I don't think I'm gonna find that though. Or I can start, you know what, no. Before I'm gonna play a Pokemon Fan Club, I'm gonna go and play both judges. Because I might draw Hitmonchan from one of those. So then I'll be able to play Green's Exploration for Switch and Brilliant Forest. If, of course, I'm gonna draw Hitmonchan. That's a huge if, and let's look. Mm. Right, that does not look like a Hitman Chan. Let's draw a card. Let's see. This also doesn't look like one. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let's draw. <laughs> okay, let's draw one more time. Come on, three times a charm. And. Oh, this is. <laughs> okay, four judge whistles into four judge whistles. But now, okay, let's play Cynthia. I think Cynthia is uh, the best player I have right now. Refreshment of a hand, and we've got it all. All right, so we've got it all. Don't think that we don't have is a switch, but it's okay. We got a switch next turn, so a little bit of a bummer, almost there. 
it's closed but not cigar as they say sometimes right so for judge whistles like judge whistle into judge whistle into judge whistle into judge whistle that was the first time it ever happened to me and i okay it might be possible irl but i don't think it would like really happen like you have to really you know sh have poor 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 shuffling skills to actually you know have something like that happening to you of course you know even if if you're if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're the best shuffler in the world it might happen to you right um it can happen that can do that decks are oh, they are really annoying species they are are <laughs> oh boy so let's go we got Naganadal Marshadow but again Marshadow let loose rotates out so we will not have to uh, worry about anything uh, like that and Hitman Chan so Hitman Chan Hitman Lei that's gonna be the combo now Viridian Forest, of course, to get rid of Ultra Space. Erika Hospitality, draw of six. Okay. Dianse, maybe. Are you in the deck? Yes, you are. Okay, so we got a Dianse. Always good to have this additional, additional damage that we can deal. Hit and run. And hit melee. So I'm gonna try to snipe either either Poi Pole. What no, I think po sniping Point Pole is gonna be crucial because that is a Blaze GX deck. Like a little bit weird Blaze GX. Um normally at this time you see a ton of Blaze GXs, or at least one or two here. There's not even a bench space for him. So I know what to think, to be quite honest with you. But again, maybe you know, maybe my opponent is trying uh, certain ideas for his League Challenge, League Cup, because you know they are still happening uh, this month. So you never know. You never know. Even though we are 11, 12 days before uh, before a new set comes out, there's still you know there's still stuff being played in the old format. Because you know it's gonna be for four more weeks. We can have the old format. Because of course you know Unified Minds, so you'll be able to play during tournaments day uh the day that world championships starts and yikes who oh boy that was who huge yikes not really know the best the best the best thing uh that happened to us so we have to play a little bit around so just hit and run and we have to have hope right we have to have hope that we can win and i well, don't really think so again what are my thoughts about this deck post rotation uh, it can still hit hard. I mean, you know, it's not going to be a tier one. It was never a tier one. It was more of a Mimi deck. It was more of a funny deck to play, and it was a deck to you know to to, to surprise your opponent online. And it's going to stay like that. Honestly, it's going to stay like that. It's not going to it's not going to be even aspiring tier two. It's it's there. It, it exists. It's fun to play, and if you have it right now. Like, but rotation is not gonna hurt it that much, right? Because you know all your other attackers stays. Because you know here you've got team up, also team up and hit on top from from uh, unified, not unified minds, but unbroken bonds. Yeah, that is a game. That is definitely a game against you know psychic type against weakness. Um, like you have to be crazy to the thing you can win with uh, with that. And yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm that crazy. <laughs> But we'll try. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to do it. Alright, so... Hit and run. That's all I can do. Only 50. Only 50. I'm gonna sip some water. Well, I'm gonna drink it all. Mr. Naganadal. But really, like, this is quite interesting, interesting way, right? You know, Blaze... In the discard pile, he does not care about the blaze, and you know, and I can't blame him. He has the advantage, like you know, he's doing whatever he wants to, and I think you know that's okay. Let's play Kogus Trap. Like my one problem with this deck is that Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Top rely so much on 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 Hitmon Chan start that you have to go you know turn by turn. If you can have those perfect three turns. You're in a good good spot, but if you can't, as you saw, you know, uh, right now, 
it's not happening right it's just not 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 happening and another blaze just being discarded well i mean you know he doesn't have to you know um it's not a thing that much so like he can do whatever he wants to do to be honest with you and that's what he does right that's what he does we got a beast energy and that's what he, what uh, he's going to play front so beast energy there we go and uh, knockout knockout and that is going to be a game i know i can concede there's literally nothing i can do uh, right now with 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 my hand all right guys so that is a Hitmonchan Hitmonlee deck in a nutshell for you. Um, I know the video is a little bit shorter than uh, the usual ones, but it's Friday before pre release. My friend has a birthday, so I really had to, you know, I had not that uh, big of an amount of time. And tomorrow is pre release, right? So I want to prepare myself for the pre release. I still have to, you know, like prepare the sleeves, prepare uh, all other all other things that you do prepare for the pre release. But guys, for you, it's also tomorrow pre release, hopefully. And if it is, Good luck, have fantastic pulls, and guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Down there, down there below in the description, have the deck list. You have a 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak. And starting tomorrow, you will start seeing uh, Unified Minds, excuse me, packs on Professor Oak as well. So thank you so, so, so much. Stay amazing. See you on Twitch. Raven loves you. Mwah. Goodbye and good night. Have a fantastic weekend at pre release. Yeah!